Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Res Dollar. Welcome back to the Golden My NBA series. And where we last left off, the NBA champs were crowned. And that was the Washington Wizards squad, led by Rich Mack being the finals MVP. And if y'all didn't watch the finals episodes, I recommend y'all to go and check that out. History was made in those two episodes. But since then, we basically got through the whole offseason. So this episode is about to be an offseason recap. Uh, we could start off by looking about the player retirements. It wasn't nobody too crazy that really retired. Uh, Baca, Gordon Hayward, uh, Mark Marcus Morris, John Wall. Other than that, it was really nobody that really retired. Staff, I don't know, Luke Wallen. We should throw a parade that this nigga retired. Uh, no jersey retirements. Uh, we didn't do nothing crazy in the league meetings. But the draft lottery right here. Bow. Uh, I downloaded some fictional draft class. It was pretty decent. I don't know who it was, but shout out to them. But the Pacers ended up winning in the lottery, getting the number one pick. Then the Bulls got number two. Sonics got three. Celtics at four. And let me show y'all who's next up. Dmitry Markovic out of Ukraine was the number one pick. Sound like a – and I'm going to pause. Sound like he's about to be tough. Look, he got a little gap in between his teeth. Number two, who I think he might be. I think he's him. Isaiah West. Out of Memphis, I think he's him. And the past couple of years, Memphis really got some really good pros. They got Austin Matt coming out of last year's class. The year before, they got Lamar Ruffin, even though he hasn't had the best career for the Celtics. But three straight years, they're having first-round uh, pick guards. And then third pick, Rashard Hall, who ended up getting traded to OKC. Uh out of Duke, so, you know, Duke is still back in the top three hunt, doing their thing. Uh, Nate Hammond, Jeff Schwartz, all these other guys that we don't really know too much about. But we'll get a little bit familiar as we see what they do in the Summer League. And free agency. Honestly, I did this, the free agency, a couple of days ago. So, honestly, like, it's little things that's a blur. So, where is that? Transaction reports. So we could go through basically everything that happened for the off season. Uh, if there's anything too crazy, I'll go through it. Sixers didn't really do anything, anything big. The my I end up Milwaukee Bucks made a big trade for acquiring Tyler Hero, traded Josh Christopher and Thomas Bryant, and the Heat ended up blowing it up this season. We're gonna take a look at their off season. They made another big move. And they just got rid of Tyler Hero. It just wasn't really working out. They were one of the worst teams in the league. But the Bucks retooled. They added Dorian Finney-Smith, Evan Fournier, Jackson Hayes, brought back Devin Hardaway. Going to the Chicago offseason, they missed the playoffs last year. But they basically brought back roughly the same crew. What team is this? The Cleveland Cavaliers. They added Kobe White to the roster and Vucevic for their big moves. Uh, Celtics ended up getting De'Aaron Fox, Grant Williams to the Clippers. Nothing crazy with them in their all season. Uh, the Grizzlies just basically bought back their whole core, resigned them, and right here was a big trade. That I was talking about the other Heat trade. Bam out of bio moved to the Atlanta Hawks. This was the biggest move in the off season. Traded for Khalif Kingston, who was a former top five pick. DeAndre Hunter. Jordan Walsh, Josh Tillman, and top five protected future first round pick. This is a blockbuster trade. Now we're about to see the big three at Trey Young, Shea Alexander, and Bam Adebayo. They got to perform now. They got their defensive anchor and lob threat and Bam Adebayo. And you got the two dynamic guards in Trey Young and Shea Alexander. No excuses. They also added Jared Vanderbilt to the roster and Terrence. Terrence Davis also traded for Patrick Baldwin. That it's not on here, and they also got Jaden McDaniel. So they retooled. They retooled, and they got to perform after missing the playoffs over like the past two years. But yeah, now Miami's roster is basically Cleve Kingston, DeAndre Hunter, Jordan Walsh. You got Josh Christopher, Thomas Bryant. So they're in rebuilding stage. Hornets, Chris Paul ended up being an assistant. I don't know why he's the <clears throat> the head coach on here. 
They were tweaking. Uh, Jordan Poole was moved for Kelton Johnson. Both of these two teams didn't really do anything. Uh, the Knicks, they brought back their core and signed Chris Boucher. Nothing crazy. So, oh, Julius Randle was a big pickup in the offseason for the Dallas Mavericks. I think he's going to be one of their six-man candidates and someone that could help with the offense when Luka's out the game. Uh, the Nets traded Kevin Durant to the Sonics and Kyrie Irving to the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is another big thing. They finally blew it up after being in the plan for like the last like five years. Uh, Kyrie went to Minnesota for Moses Moody and Trey Mann. The Moses Moody experiment didn't work out for Minnesota, and they also had two wings with Anthony Edwards and Josh Bridges, who they wanted to build around. So I ended up making that trade. And Minnesota's trying to make it some playoffs with Ant-Man. They haven't made it in a couple years. So they added a piece in Kyrie Irving, who was expiring after this year. Also, Trey Murphy to add to the rotation. So they're going to be trying to make the playoffs with Anthony Edwards. And Kyrie's an expiring deal, I think around like $51 million coming off the books next year. So we'll see how that's going to turn out. But the Kevin Durant to the Sonics going back where he started. And Christian Wood to the Nets. So now the Nets have a core. Trey Mann, Cam Thomas, Ben Simmons, Christian Wood, Moses Moody, and Corey Cousins. That's their core. Moving on. Nuggets ain't doing nothing. Patch ball and resign, but ended up getting traded. Lugans door got waived. Ben Mathen resign. All right. The Raptors, the only moves that they really did that was notable was brought their players back and added Corey Kispert to their roster. Some shooting. Rockets brought back their core. So other than that, it wasn't really too much of a crazy, like a as much of a blockbuster offseason as it was last year with Tatum moving. But the Bam out of bio one is the biggest trade of them all. Also, Nick Smith was the one that got moved for the third pick, Richard Hall. Nick Smith and Mario Ellington was traded for the third pick. And most of the teams just resigned, like Michael Porter Jr. He resigned with this team. Wizards. Oh, yeah, the Wizards ended up getting uh, DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, there we go. Refreshing my memory with that. And that is all the trades. So let's take a look. That was the whole free agency, basically. Now we're about to see what happened in Summer League. This are the results of Summer League. And this Utah Jazz squad, the greatest Summer League of all time. Greatest Summer League team of all time. I'm about to show you why exactly why I'm saying that right now. And let me show y'all this. The play Summer League was stacked this year. Don't get it twisted. Summer League was stacked. Look at the players such as Kayvon Kavango. We saw what he was doing in the playoffs. Tyree Smith, Marquise Allen coming off winning a championship. You got Danny Tyler who let, helped lead the Lakers to the NBA playoffs. You got Jabari Smith, Dior Wright. I mean, Jabari Mack, Dior Wright, Joe Banks, the rookie, Scoop. I mean, Scott Kane, Isaiah West. Like, we're going to take a look at the stats. But I'm going to show you why this is the... Wait, let, first let me tell you, show you how to roster. Let me put some respect on them. All right, so this is basically... Most of these players going to begin rotation minutes on, on the NBA squad. So you got Joe Banks, Scott Kane, uh, Jared Michael Garrett, who was their lottery pick. Come on, dog. It's okay, messing up the flow. Uh, Dior Johnson, Romeo Houston, MJ Rice, Z Zyre, Zion Cruz, Jersey, Scotty Lewis, Jersey, and this is their roster. Let's take a look at their summer league stats. They went undefeated, uh, eight and zero, oh, and won by an average a thirty two point six. Every game was a blowout. They held their opponents to ninety one a game. And they scored 124. That's nuts. Nuts. And let's see what the players have. Oh, did I go to hit G League? Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, let's see what the players averaged. 
Scott Kane averaged 24, 7, 6, and 1. One steal. You got Joe Banks averaged 19 and 11 and 6 assists. Dior Johnson averaged 17, 6, and 6. MJ Rice averaged 16 off the bench. Kendall averaged 15. Like, this team is stacked. And I, wait, hold up. Who won MVP? I think they're showing them social media. All right, Joe Banks won it. All right, I expected Joe Banks winning that. But let's take a look at the rest of the stats of the Summer League. And Austin Mack, he came in with the mindset that I'm, I'm getting my shit off. <laughs> I'm getting my shit off. So whoever was on this team, they thought they was about to work on their game, about to get an opportunity. Austin Mack says, stupid, I'm not going to let you get the chance. He was taking 27 shots a game, letting them go every single game, taking 13 threes out here wilding. But he was getting to it. He averaged 38 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals a game. Also averaged 5 turnovers. I think he loved the turnovers too. But I guess he was just trying out his new stuff that he was working off and working on the all season. He said, I'm about to get my game off. He shouldn't have been here, to be honest. He averaged 21 points. Also, Danny Tyler was the second leading scorer, averaging 28 a game. So the guards is going off. And Isaiah West, I was talking about him before. He's playing for the Chicago Bulls, and they have a situation coming up with Kevin Porter Jr. Is he going to be willing to come off the bench? Because Isaiah West is going to be here very soon. Average 27 a game, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 3.2 steals that led the summer league. This kid has potential. Slash and playmaker. Also got Michael Coleman getting off. Uh, Jeremy Goodson averaged 26 at 12 boards a game. He led in boards as a small forward. Isaiah West led in an assist. So he was top three in points. Led in assists and was number one in steals. Come on now. Khalif Kingston also showing off some potential. Average, average in the double-double. 20 and 10 and three blocks. And also, Latrell Cross was out here hooping, too, getting his game off. So, it was good to see all these young players just dogging, dogging some of the league. Especially the second and third year guys. That's what you really want to see from them. You got to act like, you got to make sure, what's it called? You look like the best player out there and you know them belong. And that's what some of them did. Jabari Mack didn't shoot the best, but... Ah. Ah. Oh, let's take a look at a couple other guys before we get off Summer League. The Davis brothers. Mo Davis. Average 18 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 42, 31. I feel like it could have been better, but I'm not mad at it. Let's look at Carlton Davis. Jay Anthony also hooped 17, 9, and 9. Carlton Davis averaged 16, 6, and 5. Didn't shoot the best in the field, but I guess. I think that's it for Summer League, though. I don't know. What the hell? I'm over here trying to leave. All right. So, anyway. This is the all, first part of the all season. Next is about to be the season preview where I'm going to talk about the top 10 teams going into the next season. We're going to take a look at the top 25 players and my finals predictions, my MVP and award predictions. And that's in the season recap, season preview. It's your boy, Rex Dollar. I hope y'all enjoyed this all-season episode. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to reach a goal of 500 subscribers. Roughly around the next 2K, but I know we could definitely eclipse that. So, make a nigga day. Hit the subscribe button. Take, like, one second. And stay safe. Be goaded. I'm out of here.